friends this discussion biological assay of fermentation product is a part of NMEICV project entitled creation of e-contents on fermentation technology sponsored by MHRD government of India let us start with introduction the assay of product means to check the quality and quantity of the product produced there are many types of assays but here we are discussing biological assay for biological assay sensitive test organism or enzyme is required. The product tested against sensitive organism, which may depress or stimulate the growth of the sensitive test organisms. On solid media, decrease or increase in growth of sensitive organism can project a zone of exhibition or inhibition. In liquid media growth of test organism measured as turbidity of the media. If biological assay employs enzyme then, quality and quantity of the product measured as increase in the enzymatic activity. Enzymatic activity means utilization of reactant or the production of product by enzyme. As every coin has to size, biological assay also has some limitations. Despite this limitation, this assay plays an important role in the assay process in industry. Certain limitations of bioassay outlined below. It is more difficult to perform. It provides greater error. It is less reproducible. As said earlier this assay requires test organism, but we cannot use any organism but requires specific organism. Test organisms should have following characteristics. It should be genetically stable. It should respond in a graded manner only to test compound and not to other materials that may be present in the solution for assay. It should grow relatively quickly on simple media. It should not be a pathogen. Cell should not clump for turbidometric assay or swarm across the agar for diffusion of say. It should, if possible aerobic or facultative anaerobic. It should grow well at pH. That does not affect the stability or toxicity of the material under assay. After discussing test organisms used let us learn about various bioassay techniques. Biological assays, divided into four categories. Diffusion assay, turbidometric assay, metabolic response assay and enzymatic assay. Let us start with diffusion assay. Diffusion assays carried out on solid media, usually an agar medium, which is suitable for the growth of the test organisms. The compound to be tested is allowed to diffuse through the medium in a radial fashion, from a pad or cup so that the adjacent growth of the test organism is depressed either as with an antibiotic or stimulated as with growth factor. The diameter of zone of inhibition or zone of exhibition reflects the concentration of the compound used for assay. Friends this discussion biological assay of fermentation product is a part of NMEICV project entitled creation of e-contents on fermentation technology. Sponsored by the MHRD Government of India. There are two types of diffusion of say. 1. Cylinder method. 2. Paper disc method. 1. Cylinder method. In cylinder method, 10 milliliter of mold and agar poured in sterile petri plate. As soon as this base layer is hard, 5 ml of the same or a different agar medium inoculated with a test organism added above the base layer and allowed to harden to form the seared agar layer. Then numbers of cylinders placed per plate depending on the expecting size of the zone. After discussing test organisms used let us learn about various bioassay techniques. Biological assays, divided into four categories. Diffusion assay, turbidometric assay, Metabolic Response Assay and Enzymatic Assay Two, Paper Disc Method In the Paper Disc Method, plates of seeded agar medium are prepared and inoculated as for the cylinder assay. However, Solution to use for assay or solutions of reference compound added at a volume of 0.1 mL to disc of sterile filter paper, usually 12.8 mm in diameters, laid on the surface of the seeded agar. The incubation and calculation of assay are similar to the cylinder method. 
After discussing diffusion assay, let us discuss other types of bioassay. Turbidometric assay. Turbidometric assay performed in liquid medium. The compound used for assay used in liquid medium and growth rate toward total growth of the organism used for test measured in terms of turbidity of the medium. Growth may increase or decreases depend on the compound used for test. A suitable sterile medium dispensed in series of tubes and graded amount of the sterile material to use for assay added. All the tubes inoculated with a small and constant amount of vigorous, young culture of the test organism, and then incubated for specific period at constant temperature. The length of the incubation period depends on whether the turbidity of the culture is to be determined at some point during logarithmic growth, the total growth of the organisms, which can occur in a particular medium. 1. Cylinder Method in cylinder method, 10 ml of molten agar poured in sterile petri plate. As soon as this base layer is hard, 5 ml after discussing test organisms used let us learn about various bioassay techniques. Biological assays, divided into four categories. Diffusion assay, turbidometric assay, metabolic response assay and enzymatic assay. Thus, for the fermentation product that inhibits growth, is inoculated with the test organism. The tubes incubated for a defined period at constant temperature, and each tube observed to determine the presence or absence of growth. The relative amount of the fermentation product in the original fermentation broth determined by the amount of dilution, which the fermentation product can't withstand in the assay tubes and still inhibit growth of the test organism. Friends this discussion biological assay of fermentation product is a part of NMEICV project, entitled Creation of E-Contents on Fermentation Technology. Sponsored by MHRD Government of India. After discussing diffusion assay let us discuss other types of bioassay. Turbidometric assay. Turbidometric assay performed in liquid medium. The compound use as said earlier this assay requires test organism, but we cannot use any organism but requires specific organism. Test organisms should have following characteristics. It should be genetically stable. It should respond in a graded manner only to test compound and not to other materials that may be present in the solution for assay. It should grow relatively quickly on simple media. It should not let us start with diffusion assay. Diffusion assays carried out on solid media, usually an agar medium, which is suitable for the growth of the test organisms. The compound to be tested is allowed to diffuse through the medium in a radial fashion from a pad or cup so that the adjacent growth of the test organism is depressed either as with an antibiotic or stimulated as with growth factor. The diameter of zone of inhibition or zone of exhibition reflects the concentration of the compound used for assay. After discussing test organisms used let us learn about various bioassay techniques. Biological assays divided into four categories. Diffusion assay, turbidometric assay, metabolic response assay and enzymatic assay.